George Strait, carrying your love with me. That's what this girl told me back in 82. Baby, honey, corazón, she told me, I'm carrying your love with me. Also your baby. I said, what the hell? That's not mine. Uh -uh. We only went out to Jack in the Box. I didn't do nothing else. That's not mine. Uh -uh. <laughs> right. We only went to Jack in the Box. That's all we did. Anyways, let's go live. Good morning, Double R Radio, Tuesday morning, 803 por la mañana, uh, July the 30th, 2019. I was just talking to my people here uh, live on Facebook that uh, carrying your love with me, Mr. George Strait, a girl told me that back in 1982, Robert Rebus, I'm carrying your love with me. And I said, okay, and then she goes, also your baby. And I go, eh, eh, no, 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 no. I only took it to Jack in the Box. I bought you a, a jumbo jack with cheese, order fries and a soda. Nothing else. No, 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 no. Good morning, Tuesday morning, Double R Radio. Can you believe we're already going to knock out July? And here comes Mr. August, my birthday month. Man, I can't believe I'm going to be 29 years old. Can you believe that, James? Double R Radio sponsor, Mr. James Gonzalez. Uh, 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 um. Mr. James Gonzalez, Money Mart's very own Mr. James Gonzalez. Can you believe, dude, I'm going to be 29 years old, dude? <laughs> Where has time flown, right? <laughs> James is going, Mas mentiroso, right? Anyways, just, uh, uh, let me see here. Why am I hearing myself? I don't want to hear myself. There we go. Good morning, Chatter. Good morning, Double R Radio sponsor, Mr. James Gonzalez. I mean, Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. How we doing? Anyways, just, uh, uh, <laughs> he said, James, me too. <laughs> hey, brother, that's why we get along, brother. That's why we're on the same team. There we go. Money Mart. That's right, man. Hey, man, you, you guys need to go check out Money Mart Pawn Shop. They're located in Houston and San Antonio. They're on the moon. They're in Australia. They're everywhere, Money Mart. Check it out, man. More information, just head on over to my website and get all the info right there at Money Mart Pond. It's to Mr. James Gonzalez. Take care of business with those boys out there. Simply an awesome, awesome pawn shop. It really, really is pawn shop, should I say. Anyways, um, I got, I got so much to talk about here, man. First things first, let me just say this. Yesterday afternoon, I stopped by Luby's for some papa. I was hungry, right? Stop by Luby's. I go and get my tray like you normally do. I went and, you know, placed my tray down, got my food, got rid of the tray, and I'm getting ready to eat. There's these two ladies sitting across from me on the next table with two younger girls. The two younger girls are like volleyball girls, like from high school. They're dressed in shorts and they're sweats. They're like volleyball girls, right? Well, they're like on the table right next to me. This is all true. And uh, while I'm getting ready to eat, one of the girls, the teen girls, takes off her socks and she's like shaking them, like trying to get whatever the freak was in there. She's shaking them like that. Then she puts her socks back on. Then she goes into her purse and gets another pair of socks and puts those on. Then puts on her tennis shoes. All of this in front of me. And I'm going like, really? Do I want to see a young girl... Even more so, shake her socks like that. Shake her socks right there. That's hard to say. Shake her socks. You know, doing that stuff and all whatever lint or whatever flying in the air while I'm eating. You know, um, honestly, you know, to me, it kind of grossed me out. I almost called the manager and I said, man, nah, what, what's he going to do? Right? So I just kind of like, I ate my papa while holding my nose. I'm like, okay, papa here, I'm drinking some soda. Really, man, to me, that was disgusting. It really, really was. Good morning, shout out to Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Damian. Good morning, shout out to Double R Radio sponsor, Deborah Cabanillo, joining me from Anaheim, California, in La Casa. Buenos dias, Damian. Good morning, shout out to Double R Radio sponsor, Maru Flores, San Antonio, Texas. Maru lives by the logic every day is Christmas and every night is New Year's Eve. <laughs> and you guys think I'm playing around? I'm not playing around, man. Maru can party. She really, really can. Tell me good, uh, good morning, John. I'm going to have to double our radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, who takes breaks from her job. Right? She goes, I got to go to the restroom. I'll be right back. Takes her phone, and she's kind of like checking it out. Joining me on <laughs> Double R Radio. That's what. That's simply awesome. It really, really is. Let's see what's going on out here in this crazy, crazy world. Let's see here. Check this out. Crazy story. Listen up, ladies. A woman woke up in her hotel room to find a snake on her arm. How crazy is this, right? Anyway, Tennessee. A woman was asleep in her hotel room in Memphis, Tennessee on Friday morning when she felt something moving around in her arm. She checked it out. She said, it's a snake. Um... Authorities were um, investigating the scene, and they asked the woman, well, ma'am, uh, uh, what do you want us to do? 
And the woman told the authorities, Is there any way you can tell the snake next time I wake up if I can find him somewhere else? And uh, they said, uh, the authorities said they will talk to the snake and see what they can figure out. There you go. <laughs> I haven't met a woman yet who doesn't want to wake up to a snake. <laughs> but we're not going to go there right now. We're not going to go there right now. <laughs> I'll never forget the time a woman told me, Man, I want a snake that want that... I want a snake that's going to wake me up. That's what a woman told me. I want a snake that's going to wake me up in the morning. I said, would you like a rattlesnake? No, a rattle? No. Eh. Not funny. Okay, now for us to begin the rattlesnake. Let's see what else is going on here. Bam, 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 bam. Check this out. Las Vegas, Nevada. Grasshoppers have invaded Las Vegas. How crazy is this, right? Swarms of grasshoppers have invaded Las Vegas and have hit the casinos. They're playing the slot machines, they're having drinks, they're having the free buffets. Grasshoppers have gone crazy! And uh, the bartenders are all pissed off. They say they've never seen so many, so many gamblers, gamblers should I say, over the ring. Grasshopper, uh, what would you like, sir? Grasshopper, what would you like? Grasshopper, they were all ordering grasshoppers. Go figure. So anyway, swarms of grasshoppers have invaded Las Vegas. I'm staying the hell away from there. Now! Listen up on this one. This is a goodie. This is a really, really good one. This is very, very interesting. Um, don't want to miss anybody here. Uh, check this out. Study says that 28% of delivery drivers have eaten some of your food. So if you're ordering Uber Eats, uh, Domino's, Pizza Hut, whatever, whatever, DoorDash, whatever you're ordering, study says 28% of delivery drivers have eaten some of your food. <laughs> Sorry, my name's Graciano. Anyways, let me just say this. This is all true. I can say this now. I couldn't say this 30 years ago, but I can say it now. Back in the day, I used to work for a print shop, and every once in a while, the boss would send me to Sea Island to go pick up like 10 trays of food for the bookkeepers, for the office personnel, for him, for his wife. Right? I'd be all pissed off. What about me? No, he wouldn't buy me a plate. So anyways, I'd go to Sea Island and pick up 10 trays of food, right? Right, I got them all there, I got them all in bags, I put them in the car. And I'm driving back and you can smell the shrimp, the pescado, the hush puppies and all that, right? So man, I was hungry. So I'd open up the tray. <laughs> I'd open up the tray. <laughs> this is what you get for not buying me lunch, cabron. And a little piece of fishing. And, uh, really, man, I would I would get some. Uh, so they're right about this. I was part of the 28% of delivery drivers have eaten some of your food. But they deserved it. They really did. They should have bought me a plate of food where I was working at. Good goodness. Anyways, uh, what time is it? 8, 11 in the morning, July the 30th. Those meals, yes, you know, I'm telling you, man, uh, what a weekend. It really, really has been. And even more so, I need a break. I'm taking a vacation. So in a couple of weeks... Uh, Sunday morning, I'm headed to Biloxi, Mississippi, to the Bulwer Voss Casino, man. I'm going to go out there and uh, do some gambling, do some drinking, and uh, go out into the water and beat the crap out of some sharks. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I tell you what, let's get it going. Let's do something by Thomas Dolby. She blinded me with science. <laughs> and boy, what science she had. When was he asked? Double R Radio. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Anyway, let's get back to the morning show. Join me right now. RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Click on that media player button, man. I don't care what you have. Cell phone, iPad, uh, PC, whatever you got going on, just click on that play button and join me live. Orale.